Hey, we're back, and if you recognize that song, there's a pretty good chance you already know there's a new push to legalize marijuana nationwide at the federal level. The House passed a bill now sitting with the Senate, but whether it passes or not, official acceptance of the drug seems to be on the rise, with companies like Amazon ending testing for many job seekers and the major sports leagues easing restrictions too. Major League Baseball no longer bans marijuana. The NBA has relaxed its testing requirements. And the NFL is actually funding research on the drug's health benefits. However, cannabis still carries the unmistakable whiff of stigma for those who personally use it. More than 50 years after the war on drugs began, here's what that stigma looks like today and what it may take to change it. Three, two, one. In almost every state in America, the old laws against marijuana have been rewritten. But when it comes to talking about it... One question. What's the question, brother? How often do you consume cannabis? We found that, new laws or not, most people seem to be following an old playbook. Just say no to drugs. <laughs> Wait, this is your official That's position? That's my official position. Don't ask. Don't tell. Yeah, I'm, I'm mom about it. You can't say it. Yeah. You seem a little bit uncomfortable admitting it. Um, I suppose. I'm um, dancing around. You're there, dancing around. Yeah. And when people do open up, and, as some uh, did, I definitely got high a lot over COVID. <laughs> it turns out that laws can change in an instant, but worries about being stereotyped as a cannabis user are a lot harder to shake. I mean, I'd probably feel weird if my mom saw this. <laughs> This is your brain on drugs. If you were a kid in the 80s and 90s, as I was, you grew up on a steady diet of anti-drug programs and public service announcements. If you use pot, you're not using your brain. Pot was also a primary target of the drug war, something else I experienced firsthand when one of President Reagan's drug task forces busted my own father for dealing what was and still is a banned substance under federal law. A lot has changed with some form of legalization in 47 states, but so much has not. No one in Congress openly uses cannabis, and it can be problematic when a Fortune 500 CEO lights up. I mean, it's legal, right? It's totally legal. Okay. After Elon Musk appeared to smoke a joint on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, Tesla's stock value plummeted. But as legalization spreads, a growing list of celebrities and athletes have put a different face on the industry. Even former Republican House Speaker John Boehner has changed his stance on marijuana, as he told John Dickerson last year on CBS Sunday Morning. You know, I drink red wine. You know, if somebody wants to smoke a joint or eat a gummy, that's ah, really none of my business. And now a politician from Louisiana is going one step further. Most of the people police are arresting aren't dealers, but rather people with small amounts of pot, just like me. Gary Chambers is running for U.S. Senate, and in a first-of-its-kind campaign video, he decided to light up to make a point. People just want to be within whatever the norm is in society, um, and we haven't figured out how to normalize this just yet. Some 7 million people have watched the clip, who, as Chambers sees them, are 7 million potential converts to a new image of cannabis. What do you think the image of the cannabis consumer should be? A United States senator. <laughs> He's already convinced his parents. At first, my dad was like, well, you're smoking that dope. Uh, and I had to say, I had to say, Dad, it's not, it's not the same as dope. Um, but we got to have a real conversation about it. And if my 75-year-old mom and 79-year-old father uh, can evolve on the conversation, then I'm not really concerned what anybody else thinks about it. And so as we change our laws to bring cannabis out of the courts... I just feel like it's something that we should have always had. So it should have always been legal. It's still going to take some time and a change in our culture to bring it out of the closet. How often do you use marijuana? Uh, honestly, every day. It took you a second before you every said yes. Day. Were you thinking about saying no? I was, I was. But Why? then I was like, you know what? No, why not? It's, it's 2022, different times now.
Okay, so, actually, wait, hold on. I know, I know what you're going to try to corner me on, right? No, I, just, I, have, I have some questions. <laughs> but, I, but I just want to say that gentleman at the end there who said yes. he uses cannabis every day. You know, a lot of people have a glass of wine every night for dinner, and we're, we're very accepting of that in our society. We're not yet accepting of people using cannabis that regularly. People feel that stigma. That's what it is. Even though it's legal. That's Even though it's legal. It's legal. Okay. Widely legal. Yeah. So I have to ask, have you ever partook in this uh, right, Yeah, so, plant? okay, right? So I did the story, and I've been asking other people, so uh -huh. it's fair to ask me. And yeah. I, all right. uh, I, I, I gotta say, I feel the stigma too. Wait, yeah. so, uh, okay, I, so I you're, you're saying yabba dabba do right now. <laughs> I'm saying yabba -dabba. A lot of people say yabba dabba do because you know uh, yeah. we got a big wide audience all over the country, and the people, there's still a judgment around this drug. So I know, yabba, I know Oprah's trying to get so, you to so try. yabba dabba do means <laughs> yeah, you I'm have been flint stoned before. I have not been <laughs> flint. I have not been flint stoned before. Yeah. Um, no, but all jokes aside, there is a stigma. There is I a don't stigma. understand why people won't admit it if it is legal. Because there's a difference between legalization, getting it out of the courts, and then acceptance, getting it out of the closet. Mm. And there's going to be like a separate movement in the years to come on that good. Well, wait a yeah. second. We have a no and a yes. I have before. Oh, okay. oh wow. I'm from Seattle. I'm from Seattle. Okay. I'm from Seattle. That's two years. But I, I didn't okay. do it when I played because I was too scared. But here's the difference. A lot of okay. people talk about before. Not many people say, oh, I live a productive life and I yeah. do it regularly like that guy at the end. Majority of my friends do on a daily basis. It's just not my thing. I'd rather take a glass of wine. All right. Yeah. Very good. I recommend Martinelli's apple juice or Starbucks white hot chocolate. You're welcome, America.